You know, I just finished watching uh, the PBS special Evolution again. It's great. They got all these different segments on these micro-evolutionary changes that have been documented in our world. And, uh, for instance, these uh, high, uh, high mountain guppy in the Andes that has somehow started fighting off this parasite over time. And, uh, and anyway, they, they, they take these micro-evolutionary changes, uh, changes within a kind, within this guppy, and then they extrapolate and they say, see, there's just more evidence for neo-Darwinian evolution or evolution from one kind to another, uh, a fish to a bird to a reptile, etc. And uh, great photography, great scientific uh, 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 animation. It was great stuff. And I, and I thought about it for a second. I said, well, microevolution is the only thing that we've observed in science. And, that's the, but, and we really extrapolate to get to this macroevolutionary change from one kind to another. But I thought, the story doesn't stop there. There are so many steps of evolution that are never talked about. I just wanted to outline those really quick. Uh, first of all, we have what's called cosmic evolution. I mean, first of all, you have to have all space, time, matter, and energy uh, pop into existence from nowhere. Uh, scientists call this a singularity. There was this big bang, and all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, all of space, time, matter, energy, all of the scientific laws all popped into being. And then over a process of time, we had this stellar evolution, where gravity and these couple chemical elements all came together and formed stars. And over a process of a, you know, billions of years, these stars started burning, and they, and they ultimately died. And when these stars died, then you got a process of what we call chemical evolution. Those original two chemical elements that, that, that erupted out of the Big Bang now became all of the naturally occurring chemical elements that we see today, 88 of them. Okay? And then from the chemical evolution, all of a sudden we got planetary evolution. All of a sudden, gravity and chemicals combined to make these rocks, a la our Earth. And then uh, over a process of a couple billion years, these, these molten rocks cooled and uh, rain started dropping on them and volcanic solvents started kind of doing this whole thing. And all of a sudden, uh, from planetary evolution, we got organic evolution, right? That first life that popped out of a rock. Some kind of an amoeba, kind of self-replicating, self-energizing creature. And, uh, but then we go from organic evolution to macroevolution. That that one protozoan somehow became every palm tree, rose bush, elephant, dinosaur, and you and I. So what I just want to tell you today is, is that think this stuff through. Um, this uh, evolution series is great. Uh, really neat animation and some interesting evidences on microevolutionary changes. Why dogs look different than other dogs. Uh, why people look different than other people. Why birds' beaks look different than other birds' beaks. But really, think about it as you work your way back. That that extrapolation to cosmic evolution and stellar evolution and chemical evolution and organic evolution and kind-to-kind -kind evolution is a big, big leap.